Yeah, yeah. Welcome, bike. Don't say the car is topless. We say. Don't say my car is topless. Say that you this is out. Y'all know how the rest of it goes. It is Tuesday, which means we are exposing one NFL player. No, one soon to be NFL player, a prospect coming out that's relevant to your dynasty rookie drafts. And by exposing, the expose piece could be good or bad. We might just be giving a player more exposure because most people don't know them yet. Or flip flop, vice versa. We are telling y'all that the guy that everybody else is telling y'all is good is in fact not good at the game and we're here to tell you why to if the why why, you know the process of uh how we came to that conclusion etc uh today's video is going to be about jordan addison wide receiver who is uh objectively obvious most people know who he is right if you follow college football at all if you're following the nfl draft process at all yesterday's video we did a uh, a dynasty rookie mock draft the first 12 picks of a super flex dynasty rookie mock and jordan addison was my first wide receiver off the board so he is highly known but i want to dive a little bit deeper into who he is as a prospect because i think uh the overwhelming majority of people that are in dynasty leagues will choose either addison or jackson smith and jigba from ohio state as their wide receiver one both phenomenal players both different players unless someone like quentin johnston gets picked unusually high, absurdly high into a fantastic situation, or a random wide receiver uh, like Josh Downs, who I absolutely fucking love. We're probably going to talk about him next week. Gets way higher draft capital than expected. It'll be one of these two guys. And for right now, I have Addison as my wide receiver one. Uh, I'm very early in my prospect profile analysis and doing all the research and shit. So I'm open to changing my mind here. I think both of them are premier players that will go similar spots in the NFL draft, similar spots in your rookie draft. So a little bit of a coin flip right now, but I want to talk about why I love Jordan Addison and why he is currently my wide receiver one in rookie drafts. So, you know what we got to do next? We're going to tuck our shirts in. And right before we get into it, listen, don't, don't, don't be mad at me. Uh, if anything, be mad at Prize Picks for this deal being so good that I had to give it to you. Uh, they have Pat Mahomes for the Super Bowl at .5 passing yards. One completion gets you a dub on Prize Picks. If you are not yet on Prize Picks, go download the app. This is fucking free money. It's literally free money for you. Okay, so go download Prize Picks. Use promo code BDGE if it's your first time on the app. How much better? How much more can you enjoy the big game than with free fucking money on the line? All right, Prize Picks. Download the app. Promo code BDGE. You will get a 100% deposit match. So whatever you put down, if you put down 10, you'll have 20 to play with. If you put down 40, you'll have 80 to play with. Up to a hundred dollar match on it. Pat Mahomes, 0.5 passing yards. Absolutely free square. Let's talk Jordan Addison. So for those of y'all that are getting introduced to Jordan Addison for the very first time, he is a three-year player. He played his first two seasons, 2020 and 2021, at the University of Pittsburgh. Kenny Pickett was the thrower of the football there. He ended up transferring after his sophomore year over to USC, where he played with Caleb Williams, the second coming. This dude is going, I'm about to start putting out Dynasty Rookie videos about Caleb Williams tomorrow for next year, okay? That's who you're, the, if you want the one-on-one this year, Bijan, you want the one-on-one next year, it's Caleb Williams. This shit is already set in stone, all right? There's nothing that can change my mindset on that. When you have Caleb Williams and Jordan Addison playing together, it's magic on the football field. If I were to describe Jordan Addison's play in a few words, it is smooth, it's slippery, it's fluid, it's crispy. That's the type of player he is at the wide receiver position. He's not big and and strong and physical. He's not Mike Evans. He is very much in the Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, Devonta Smith, Calvin Ridley tier. Guys that we've seen be undersized, guys that we've seen create immense separation on the football field, can do it on the outside, can do it on the inside, can do it versus man, versus press, versus zone. These guys cannot be followed around the football field because if you are in your route for more than 1.7 seconds, this man is a yard and a half to two yards away from you because he is so, he's both quick and fast. He's both quick and fast and runs pro ready routes. On most websites, Jordan Addison is listed at six foot, 175 pounds, which does not scare me off whatsoever being sub 180 pounds because this is something I've said, I feel like for a while, if you are both short and skinny, that's a little problematic for me. But if you are tall and skinny, I could care less as a wide receiver prospect. That is not a red flag to me whatsoever. If you're six foot, six one, six two, and skinny, I have no problem thinking that you're going to excel on the outside, okay? As a true freshman, Addison came into Pittsburgh, 60 catches, 666 yards, four touchdowns. So definitely a breakout of sorts as a true freshman stepping on the field and putting up those types of statistics. Sophomore year was truly uh, one for the record books. 
100 catches, 1,593 receiving yards, and 17 touchdowns. Also added a score on the ground. Dude was electric. Dude was dynamic. Dude was used inside. Dude was used outside. He did everything that you could possibly ask for as a top-tier receiver, and you love to see the sophomore breakout. According to Player Profiler, guy breaks out at 18.6 years old, which is in the 96th percentile. He just turned 21 years old, so he's young, he's ripe, he's fresh, he's ready to have a long career at the next level. In that mega sophomore year, he won the Bolitnikoff Award. In the following year, he was first team all Pac-12, no surprise. His numbers and statistics dipped a little bit in the junior year, his first year in USC with Caleb Williams, but he did suffer a lower body injury that kept him out a couple games, kept him, you know, he left the game halfway through because of it, missed two games, then came back and was limited, in the, you know, so it's a lot of injury type stuff that kind of brought the ceiling down of his statistics but I'm not worried when you put up 100 1593 and 17 touchdowns as a sophomore I know you can make the case for Jackson Smith and Jigba did a very similar thing as a sophomore uh they're both great players there's no argument to be had that for some reason you're just not a good wide receiver anymore before Addison went down with his lower body injury if you were to pace it out to his full you know normal game situation or game schedule uh he was on pace for 72 11 25 and 17 receiving touchdowns in his junior year and you look at this tweet from Hayden Winks again, like yards per route run, which is something that people find as a predictive measure versus man coverage yards per route run. As you can see, he improved year over year over year. As a sophomore, he ran 68% of his snaps from the slot. As a junior, he was more primarily used on the outside. That slot number went down to like 30, 35%. So he's got experience and successful experience doing it from all over the field. It, it, and that's what you see from these like smaller dudes like Alave and Wilson and Smith. They are moved all over the field, but primarily you know, excel on the outside because of their route running. His double moves are so sexy. It is hard to contain yourself when you're watching the film from this dude and he's on the outside running a stop and go or he's running like a turnaround to slant to fucking post. You know, I don't know all the correct words for all the double moves that he's running. He runs them correctly. I'll put it that way. He's just so fluid. He sinks his hips. It's just when you watch him, you're just so... You just feel very confident that he's going to be a player at the next level, right? He's so easily in and out of his cuts, super quick on uh, on the goal line in spaces that are super, super tight. He's able to whip his head and his body in a new direction like super, super quickly. He does make some boneheaded drops, but for the most part, he's is very strong-handed. He's one of those dudes that like if he's getting a post over the middle, he's going up and he's, he's grabbing it at the top at the pinpoint with his hand, securing it in without a doubt. They used him a lot on screens. This was like a part of their offense, which is typically what happens in college. You get your best player the ball around the line of scrimmage and let them do their thing. I will say, admittedly, I was not like too impressed with his yak. I think he's explosive. Like I said, he's quick and he's fast, but he's not someone who like if the screen goes awry and there's a guy gets past his blocker, he's not necessarily making dudes miss often in the open field. Obviously, when you're that fast and you have an open lane, it's pretty easy to make a safety miss who's like five yards away. All you got to do is like change direction. But I think in a vacuum, he's not the most elusive dude with the ball in his hands, but he more than makes up for it because of his ability to separate at any part of the field. He's also like really, really good downfield. Two years during that sophomore year when he broke out, he was second in the NCAA in deep catches. So passes of over 20 yards, he had 22 of them. 22 of them. Second in the entire NCAA out of 225 qualified wide receivers. He had 10 touchdowns on deep balls. 10 touchdowns on passes of 20 plus yards, which was first in the NCAA. So all in all, I look at a dude who's got an extremely high floor because of how pro ready he is at a young age, 21, six feet tall. Yes, he's skinny, but we've seen that not be a problem for so many wide receivers in today's NFL. Jordan Addison has proved it inside, outside. His routes are ready to go. He's going to get the draft capital. He's athletic. Most mocks have him usually the first wide receiver off the board, but at worst, he'll be the third wide receiver off the board. It'll be some combination of Quentin Johnson, Jackson Smith and Jigba, and Jordan Addison. Most mocks I've seen have Addison going in the top 15 picks. If he gets that NFL draft capital combined with just his game, he's a guy that checks off all the analytical marks. He's a guy that checks off all the athletic marks. He's a guy that checks off the film marks. Like Typically, those guys do not miss at the next level. So with Jordan Addison, you're getting a guy that you feel comfortable will be a rock solid wide receiver for your fantasy team, but also presents upside that we're going to see with a guy like Garrett Wilson this year, that we're going to see with a guy like Chris Olave this year, that we saw with Devontae Smith this year, right? And Jordan Addison can be the one for a team immediately. He can step on the field and catch 75 balls for a thousand yards, six to seven touchdowns. He's ready to do that. And I'm ready 
to see him do that. And I hope y'all are ready to see him do that as well following this video. I hope that got you hyped up. Let me know down below who you got as your wide receiver one in this class. If it's Addison, if it's Jackson Smith and Jigba, or if it's Johnston or, or someone else down the line, I'm interested to see. Because like I said, I'm, I'm just over the last couple of weeks have been diving into film and numbers and analysis of these college players. I love this time of the year. Uh, it's one of the most enjoyable times of fantasy football for me to like to, to dive into these dudes. It's a lot of fun. It's a fresh start. So if you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button. We'll be doing videos like this every Tuesday. We'll be doing a rookie mock dynasty draft every Monday. Noah's going to be doing videos every Wednesday and Saturday, and we'll have stuff Thursday, Friday. Not exactly sure what yet, but we have plenty of dynasty rookie stuff for you going forward leading up to the NFL draft. And then afterwards, hit the button that looks like this. I love y'all, and I'm out.